Radio Shore. Hi everyone, I'm Laura from Laura's Handcrafted Treats and Treasures. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I have a little short video here for you and I kind of got this idea from, and I'm sure others have come up with these folding ideas, but this is from an ideals book and um, I have quite a few that I'm going through and I'm going to be cutting some um, ephemera out of them, but um, I remember my grandmother reading these ideal books to me. I, I just loved them. But anyway, I thought, oh, that would be a nice fold out for a um, journal spot um, in your journals. So I just kind of put myself one together. And this is just my little example here. Now, of course, these can be done in different sizes. And, um, you know, if you don't want it as long and you want it to be smaller, just to go in a little side pocket or something, you know, you can adjust accordingly. But this is what I did. I just followed this example. I'll adjust as I go along. I also have this one I'm going to show you. But let's get started on this one first. So basically, you don't really need a scoreboard. You can just fold. The only reason I'm using or only thing I'm using the scoreboard for is I just want to get my flap. So I'm going to make my flap about three fourths of an inch down. You can do an inch. You can do half, whatever you want to do. And then I'm going to fold that down. And I'm going to fold this up to just, just a little bit under that score line because that's going to be the flap, okay? Now you can also score each side here, which I think I'm going to do only because we're going to do just a little bit of cutting. So let me just sort of get my... And it must have been, I'm just going to do each side at, I'm going to say it was around two and three fourths. So I'm just going to score that and I'm just going to turn mine around. It just makes it much easier. Two and three fourths. Instead of having to figure out the other end, just turn the paper around. Let's just make this easy. And then these are going to fold in. Just like that, and in, just like that. Now we are going to refold this in a minute here because these are actually gonna go on the inside. But what we're gonna do is we're going to cut these little panels out right here. That's gonna go and that's gonna go. I'm gonna do that real quick. I think I'm going to corner them edges. So I'm just going to take my chomper, fold that piece down so I can get that in there. Do that. Okay, now we are going to fold in, fold in, fold up and then you have your little envelope style and you can decorate the front, put that in a pocket and then they have a whole journaling thing inside. Neat, huh? Okay, let's go to the second one. So I also got this idea from this little thing I found and you know, I thought, oh, well, wouldn't that make a nice little um, insert for a journal as well? where you could actually even sew a signature in if you wanted to and have some little side tucks and um, kind of a book inside of a book. So that's where this idea came from. And now this one couldn't be any easier. Fold your paper in half and for the sake of getting each of these edges right, you can use, you can use a ruler. You don't have to do it this way. But I have a scoreboard that I love, and I'm going to score, let's see, I'm going to do about one and a half inches, I think. 
one and a half, and one and a half. And now this can be done out of, this is just an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. You can do digitals, print a pretty digital or part of the kit on one side, print um, a writing spot or a pretty digital on the other, and then you can you can do the same thing. So any type of paper. But then we're just going to fold these in and glue them down. Nothing fancy smanchy. Except if I can get my fingers to work. And when you glue these down, my suggestion is press from the center and go out. It'll leave less gapping in here. And of course, if you use cardstock paper, you're, this is going to be thicker. Or you can put a bead of glue down the middle here too and then have two separate pockets. So I'm going to get that side glued up. You can also take this as just a coffee dyed piece of paper. You can also take your stamps and get your stamps out and just have some fun and glue glue all over the paper or stamp all over the paper and you'll still end up with something pretty darn pretty. Pretty darn pretty. Oh, get in there. Okay, so that is where that idea. And then I made myself a little bit of a note on my template. I just put cut to any width or height for mini journals or journal inserts. And this will now go into my idea book. So I have this idea book. I have to add some more pockets because it's getting, I keep stuffing everything in the front, but this is where all my little ideas go when I'm, when I have mind block, but it's getting quite full. So this is going to go in my idea book and this will go in my idea book and I'll probably just keep these two together and maybe just write my measurements on that one to remember that's how I made that. And there, there we go. Get your ideas in your idea book and maybe you can do some paper folding for journal inserts. All right, that's it. Thanks everyone. Have a great day. Bye.